down on my status bar, the first two uh, drawing aids are my snap and my grid. To set up the snap and grid, I'm going to right click on top of the buttons and choose settings off the pop-up menu. Here I have my drafting settings with tabs for the setup of most of my drawing aids. In my snap spacing, I can set up uh, how far apart they are and my grid spacing. You notice that it's checked here that I will have equal spacing between the two and this is generally a good idea. If I double click in this box I can reset the, uh, the X spacing and if I hit tab it will match. For the grid I'll do the same thing. Double click and I'm going to set both the grid spacing and the snap spacing to the same value. Also you'll know, notice here that we're able to turn on and off the grid and that the function keys on the keyboard F9 and F7 will toggle the grid and the snap on and off while I'm working. When I return to my drawing area you'll notice that I can see my my grid but it doesn't take up my whole drawing area. The grid represents actually the limits of my drawing. If I want to zoom to the limits I'm going to do a zoom all. So Z enter A enter. Now does a zoom all and you'll see that the grid fills the drawing area. As I move around the drawing area now you can see these small points that represent my grid and then you'll notice my cursor is moving from grid point to grid point with an equal snap. With grid and snap turned on and if I want to draw um, I'll start a line command and you notice that I'm now snapping at increment units of one each. So if I wanted to draw a line that was 10 inches long I can draw with the mouse and use my snap nodes just to snap as I go along. 